monday.com dashboards explained hi guys in this video i'm going to be explaining the new dashboard feature that you can add into your boards on monday.com so let's begin if you want to use monday.com then click the link down in the description below to get yourself a free trial so first things first what you're going to do is sign into monday.com and once you've signed in go into your workspace so over here you will see all of your boards now before i begin let me explain what a dashboard is to understand what a dashboard is you need to understand boards so boards are basically workspaces that you create right so as you can see this is a workspace and within this workspace i can create different boards so you can even call these boards workspaces or projects or even folders that contain all of your tasks projects numbers and many other things that you might need to use this board for so for example as you can see i already created three of these boards so so first one was a test one over here you can see i basically added a couple of things you know a couple of tasks and then we have the automation one over here i added more items and then i had the youtube auto channel in which i added even more details so as you can see they all have their own functionalities and you can go ahead and use them right now what is a dashboard these are simple boards and then there's the dashboard the dashboard is going to be a board which will contain all of the information on each of these boards in a single workspace so for example if you wanted to check out some of the videos or the statuses on some of the videos or your tasks what you'll have to do is just simply come into each of these boards individually check them out right then change the board and check on the other one and then the other one and then so on and so on if you have the dashboard what you can do is just simply click on the dashboard and then you can view all of the statuses or numbers on all of your tasks so let me show you how you can add it and it's very simple so at the top underneath main workspace you will see a plus icon or an add button simply click on that button and it'll pop up this option and over here you will see new boards new docs and new dashboard click on the new dashboard and you can name this dashboard whatever you want it all depends on you for me i'll just leave it new dashboard because you guys can see it then we just simply click on create dashboard and over here we choose which boards we want to import it with or sync it with so i'll just select all the boards you can choose to select more boards or add more boards later and i'll show you how you can do that as well so simply click on done and now this is a new dashboard that we have we can place it at the top as well now over here in this dashboard you will see you have these options in front of you these are called widgets now you can add these widgets specifically in the new dashboard and you can see all of your information that you want to see so battery calendar charts workload numbers and gants and there are other widgets as well but these are a few that you can start with so for now i'll add a workload widget it's going to show you a calendar and it's going to show you all the workload so the circle indicates how much workload does has been done on that specific uh, day or that calendar. So over here, this is a person. As you can see over here, we have two items within January 27 on W26. And then on W27, we only had one item. But over here, we had at the bottom, which were unassigned, we have four items. So over here, you can see all of your information. Now, how do you add more widgets and this is just a simple widget we can add more as well so to add more widgets you will see over here you have the add widget button simply click on the add widget and it'll open up this drop down menu over here what you can do is you can add some of these widgets and if it's not a widget that you wanted and you wanted something more you have more options over here at the bottom so let's go ahead and click on more widgets and you will see it opens up like this and we can see we have so many more now what i wanted to do was i basically wanted to add like a time tracking software as well so for example if you wanted to track some time or you wanted to see how many hours your team members have worked then you can add this widget and you can have the chart widget the calendar gad you have many more so i'll add the chart widgets and over here we can see all of the works that has been done so two tasks were, are being worked on two are on stuck four were done five of them were the short ones and eight of them were the long ones so 
you can also add more charts as well and also you can edit it as well now at the top you will see you have two options either view and edit if you click on the view button you will only be able to view them you can't edit these boards you can't change their size or names or stuff like that but if you click on edit then you have the option to edit them as well you can make them bigger smaller wider it all depends on you i think we'll keep this one wide and we'll keep this one right here and i'll keep it in the view mode because i don't want to edit or accidentally click on an edit button let's go ahead and add some more widgets we'll select the edit button and click on add widgets and we'll click on more and over here we can add a numbers widget as well so basically this will show us how many numbers we have so depending upon what type of bar you set right so this is a sum we can see we can get the average or we can get change it to a dollar so the, this is the total amount of work that i have done right now and over here we can click on the settings and we can select the group as well we can select the boards which type of board we want and we can get some more settings and we can choose the column as well so over here as you can see on all the boards i have chosen these columns that's why this is the number that i get for june and july so this is the number that i get as you can see we can add more widgets if we click on this button and basically this is what it is as you can see now that you have a dashboard view of all of your boards you just you don't need to go to them individually if there's something wrong then you can go ahead and check them out but mainly you can put all of the information that you require from all of the boards in a single board which i think is pretty amazing and also if you're wondering how you can add more boards so for example if i added a new board right here it's not currently synced with the dashboard because over here it has three but we have four boards so we just simply click on the boards option and over here we can just simply select the new board and click on done and that board will also be selected and over here as you can see we have more tasks available now so this is how you do it and it's very simple guys so if you want to use money.com then click the link down in the description below to get yourself a free trial and do check out some of our other videos that we've done on monday.com on other parts of this awesome website that is it for this video guys hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any questions let me know in the comment sections down below and i'll be sure to answer them as soon as possible so having said that i will catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye